Welcome back! If you haven't seen part 1 yet, I recommend you go watch it. Link is in the description or the top of the video. Anyway, let's get back to ranking. At number 10 is the Grain Wagons. These wagons are specially made to carry grain from the fields to Andreas. However, they can also carry coal and limestone as well, just like the mineral wagons. The reason why I ranked these higher than the mineral wagons was due to them having a bit more interesting of a design than the mineral wagons. Coming into number 9 are the empty logging disconnects. Unlike their loaded counterpart, these are much more stable due to having no load on them and running better, and also being easier to delete in the case of a derailment. Overall, while these are more basic than the loaded logging disconnects, they definitely run better than them. At number 8 are the open wagons. These free plankers can be found in most of the major locations in game and serve as the primary means of general goods transportation across the railway, being able to carry almost all the loads in game. Overall, it's a pretty useful wagon for just about anything on the railway. Coming into number 7 is the limestone wagon. This wagon is quite similar to the Opal wagon, but having a different top shape and coming with brake rigging and a tarp when loaded. It, like the grain wagon and mineral wagon, can load limestone, coal, and grain. Overall, it's a very fitting wagon for the limestone quarry. At number 6 is the van. This van is similar to the vans used in the Tally Flynn Railway, but being a bit bigger and wider. As a good van, it mainly carries general goods to various towns on the railway. A variant of the van known as the luggage van exists and is used on passenger trains with the trait of being the only rolling stock to be loaded with luggage. Overall, this fan fits very well in game. Coming into number 5 is the maintenance train. This is a special rake of flatbeds, mineral wagons, and fans used in maintaining the right of way on the railway. This train is special as most of the wagons can't be unloaded with the exception of the van just being a regular van. Overall, it's a quite unique concept with the rails and the tools. At number 4 is the seat wagon. This wagon is quite the special wagon as it comes with two seats, a toolbox, and some sandbags. Its most likely use is to transport crew during maintenance of way runs and between yards. But most of the time, it's used for roller coaster trains. It's quite the fun and fast wagon. Arriving at spot 3 are the red coaches. These coaches are based on the free compartment four wheel coaches built for the Tally Flynn Railway. In game, these coaches are quite common and have seen a lot of use over the years. These are some of the better coaches in game, despite having an issue of buffers getting stuck on one another due to collision issues. Overall, these Icona coaches continue to work well in summer whales. Rolling into spot 2 are the American coaches. These free green bogeyed coaches can be found at the logging camp and are very well known for being the biggest coaches currently in game. There are three variants of one being a baggage and the other having a pop belly stove. These are some of the most well known coaches in game, but they are not the best. And finally, the best piece of rolling stock in game, rivaling all the others in speed, stability, design is. The Open Coaches! These open air coaches are some of the best pieces of rolling stock Wales has to offer. Their lack of a roof helps them stand out and their stability when going up or downhill is amazing. These coaches can easily make it to the quarry from God's Keep without derailing. Overall, these are some of the best pieces of rolling stock Wales has to offer. Well, that wraps up another ranking video. If you made it all the way to the end, then thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified of new videos that I post. Also, share this video with your friends or family so more people can watch this video and subscribe to this channel. We are over halfway to 1,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word and get more people to watch and subscribe. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll see you all later.